Hi guys, my name's Becca. Um, I, oh wow, this is awful. I can't talk to myself. Okay. Is there any not cringy way to start a YouTube video? I don't think so. I feel like they're all, they're all just as bad as the others, aren't they? There's, there's no not cringy way. So. <laughs> What is up? I don't think there is any non-cringy way to say hello on YouTube. So those of you who don't know me, my name is Becca Grace. I'm just recently kind of starting to put out a little more rave content. You'll see that I have been picking up more in the festival scene and the rave community. And I think I just really got to a point where I want to share a lot of what I'm doing. I've had a lot of questions about costumes and about DIY stuff that I've made and where I get my pieces from and anything from, you know, my favorite artist to how I got into the scene. And just from kind of a beginner's perspective, I feel like there's so much that people want to ask or want to know and maybe we don't ask or maybe we look it up on YouTube and hope we find the answers. And I just, I think it'd be kind of cool to start kind of sharing my journey. Um, and really kind of see where that goes for me. So I thought I would start adding more on this channel. I've posted blogs recently or more of like vlog videos, I guess, of mashups of the events I've gone to. Um, but I really just want to start sharing a lot more of what I do. So yeah, I guess today we're just kind of going to get into what's already in my closet. Um, I don't have a huge variety. I don't have a huge wide range. I don't really think you need one. I don't think that your rave closet is something that needs to be, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars of uh, really, like, complex pieces. I think if you can do that, then more power to you. I mean, I've seen some really phenomenal costumes at the festivals I've been to, and so when it comes to costumes, when you can save a couple dollars and just, you know, do something yourself, be a little more creative, really just take something old and make it exciting and new and cool and original even, then I think that's definitely what I try to do with my closet. I have, like a lot of people I feel like, um, a bin that holds all of my rave stuff. So I have all my clothing, all my accessories, um, my candy, my bags, everything that I really use or take with me to a show um, can be found in typically one or two bins that are stacked in my room. Um, so I guess I can totally lift this because there's like not much in it. It's all kind of sitting on top of it. This, this is my bin. This is, this is my bin. As you can see, there's more on top of it than there is inside of it right now. It's just easier that way, I guess. This is my big bin that typically holds all of my pieces. I've realized that this kind of works for me the best. So I guess I'll start with bottoms. I'm a very firm believer of like being comfortable first. Um, anybody who's been to a festival that's more than a day knows that like being uncomfortable is not where it's at. Like nobody really wants to be running around a rave having fun and dancing and jumping up and down and shuffling when you're getting things pulled up all the wrong directions and your shirt's falling down or you're constantly adjusting a belt or a waistband or having to retie things. Um, so I definitely have kind of leaned more toward comfort. Um, <laughs> we're going to start with, I had a very basic black and white bottoms that I kind of traded out the first couple of shows I started going to. So this first pair is a pair of shorts I got from I Heart Raves. I'm going to link everybody in the description in case you want these. I got a lot of my pieces a while ago, so they might not still be up there. Um, but they're always putting new stuff out that I absolutely love. Dream work with them one day. <laughs> um, this is a pair of shorts. They're not too, too short. You can see that they kind of have a little pocket in the back. I don't suggest using pockets on shorts. I'll get to kind of my bag that I use later, but I don't, I don't use pockets on pants. I like the way that it laces and kind of ties in the front. I think it's very simple, but I think it adds just a little bit um, to kind of a very simple piece that I can use in a lot of ways. The other thing I definitely would invest in is, I don't know what these pants are called, I wish I did. They're the really flowy, they almost look like parachute pants, is kind of what I've been calling them, it's totally not what they're called. Um, but they are these very flowy, they're very lightweight, they're not hot. I wore these to day two of Electric Zoo this year, which if anybody was there was so, so hot. It was 80s, 90s, I think it was cooler than the day before, but not by much. 
and I wore pants and I was perfectly fine. I wasn't sweating, I wasn't melting, I was dancing a lot and these are just very lightweight and the pattern's really cool too. I like them, I think they kind of have a little bit of a boho vibe which I've started to kind of fall into a little more. Kind of a flowy, comfortable um, like vibe is just really what I've been falling into and what I've been going with. And so these pants are definitely a piece that I see myself wearing a lot more often and hopefully getting a lot more patterns in. Pants, flowy, almost like pajama pants. They're so cozy. Um, and for just sitting in the grass and relaxing in the back of a set or taking a minute with your friends, it's nice to just feel so cozy and comfortable. And yeah, so there's those. Um, I think the other bottoms that I really, really love are, these are my jeans I was talking about. So these are from, these are Empire. I believe I got these at Zoomies in the malls. So they're a little pricier. Um, they're not a super cheap pair or super cheap brand, but Empire is a very like heavy duty, sturdy brand. But yeah, so these are just a really nice, comfortable pair. I'll kind of hold them up here. I'll post some photos. They're obviously very torn out. You can see through the legs. I like them because I think they're comfortable. I think they have a little bit of edge and kick to them. Um, you can see they're shredded pretty much down through the knees. You flip them up that way, you can see they're completely open for the knees. On this side, they're just very comfortable. They're something that, of course, it hugs all the right areas for me. I found a fit that I really, really felt comfortable in and that I really liked. And I've just kind of stuck with them. I wear them pretty often. Um, but I kind of mix these up. Sometimes I wear them with nothing under them. I recently tried wearing them with reflective... Uh, leg wraps. I'll kind of get into those a little bit later. Um, I wore these with leg wraps underneath them and because they're so ripped out you can see the flash of colors every time I dance and I think that that was a really fun look. I think the next thing I'm going to do is kind of get into the tops that I have. So my first top I got ever was my first rave bra which I is it's very near and dear to me. It's kind of aged and older now and it was Definitely one of my favorite pieces for the longest time, and I still wear it. I just wore it um, with an outfit for Izu. This is the first rave bra I got. As you can see, it's just kind of a sequined bra on the top. And then the bottom has this really, really pretty kind of, I don't know what you call it, lace almost applique kind of piece on the bottom um, that kind of rests right in the middle of my stomach, right above my belly button, um, which I think was like super flattering in the way they designed it. Um, but this was from Rave Wonderland, which is another amazing company. They're right up there with I Heart Raves um, as one of my favorite companies. And so this is from, from Rave Wonderland. And again, they'll all be linked below in case you want to check them out. Let's see. The next one I have is one that I made. Well, weird. It's one of the ones I edited. I guess I like to say that I edited pieces because a lot of the shirts that I wear and a lot of the tops that I wear, um, it's just like a very basic top. And then I add or change or do something to it to kind of make it fit kind of the outfit I'm going for and the look. So this was a very, very, without looking at the top of it really, this was a very basic, almost like a bandeau. It was kind of crop top, very simple, not really much design to it. Um, it did have these straps that go up and kind of lace around the top of your chest. And then it's just a regular spaghetti strap. And what I did was I took a piece of chain that I had um, from another project I was working on. And I took the chain and I connected it to both sides. And then what I did is I looped the chain through this collar. So it's just a very basic, very plain leather collar. I probably got it at a Spirit Halloween um, or Spencer's, somewhere along those lines. I'll put another picture up over here. I just wore this to Electric Zoo. So when you lift it up and you kind of hold it up like the straps there, the way this rests is this chain connects to each side in the front and then up to the collar there. It was just kind of a fun little piece. It's not super complicated. It wasn't heavy. I didn't have to keep this super, super tight. So I didn't, it wasn't like I couldn't breathe or anything, but it had a little bit of a sexy kind of vibe to it. I definitely got a lot of compliments on it. This was actually what I wore with those jeans, the ripped jeans I had and the fishnets. And this outfit got me the most compliments. The next thing I'm gonna get into is accessories. I've got kind of a wide range of items kind of laid out in front of me here that I really wanted to show you. So I'm going to start with hats because I personally am a huge, huge, huge fan of baseball caps. Um, I didn't like them really much before I started raving. And then I realized that when wearing goggles, I wear a lot of goggles. I'll actually show you the kinds that I have in a minute. Um, I love, love, love my goggles. And I realized that having them up on my head or on my neck can be kind of heavy. And if I put a hat on first and I put the goggles on it, 
I'll just show you. It looks pretty cool. This is my hat that I've worn. It's slowly going through the ringer with me. It's just a very plain baseball cap. I actually think I got it as a uniform at one point, um, but there's nothing on it. Just plain black. It's very boring, kind of on its own. It's very not much exciting about it. So to give you kind of an idea, I wear a lot of goggles. I like diffusion goggles and glasses. I like the kaleidoscope ones. I'm really just kind of getting into these. But so carrying these around on your neck can be very bulky and heavy, especially if you're dancing and jumping around a lot. Um, and putting them on your head, if you have any type of hair piece in or your hair up in any way, can kind of be a little irritating. So I've noticed if I work a hat into whatever outfit I'm wearing, the best thing in the world is you just put the goggles on the hat wrap it around and they not only keep your hat on very very snug and so it's not moving it's like it doesn't feel too heavy it doesn't get too too hot um, but it kind of has a very cool almost like a steampunk kind of look to it um, and I really like the industrial kind of feel it gives so that's where I've kind of started finding my love for the hats a little bit more and other than that just the fact that it keeps everything out of your eyes is really nice too so the next thing I guess we'll go over is masks Masks are, in my opinion, so, so, so important. Um, especially at Izu, I didn't really have this issue too much at EDC, but at Electric Zoo this year, there was so much smoke. I don't really like um, being completely surrounded by smoke when you're dancing and you're in a crowd, and it's already kind of hard to breathe when it gets that hot. Um, so definitely a mask was my lifesaver. I had very bad luck. <laughs> With masks at Izu, I actually lost my mask twice, two times, um, but all that aside, masks are very, very nice. I actually have three of them that I got from I Heart Raves, shocker, um, and these are seamless masks, which are really nice because you can wear them as bandanas, you can wear them around your neck, I always put them around my arm if I'm not using them, um, but they have some very, very cool patterns. This is more of just a black and white galaxy print, so that's one that I love. And then this one, I'm working on putting an outfit together. This is my skull one. This one's very popular. I've seen a lot of people with this seamless. Um, at Izu, I saw at least, I think, two or three that also had this seamless mask. Um, but once again, they're just really nice because you can just put them on, put them around your neck, pull them up um, however you want them. And they're very, very nice, kind of just keeping out any of the dirt and dust and at least a little bit of the smoke around you. Um, so obviously staying healthy at events like this is also very very important and then my new favorite 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 to my collection is the mask i got at electric zoo this year this is from my girl alice in wonderland this is her kind of brand her theme um and this one says fuck me up with a line through it i love this mask so much this is not a seamless this is one that goes around goes around your ears just like this And I'm a huge fan. This is a lot thicker than the seamless ones are. So I definitely felt that when breathing through this, when it was really hot, um, it gets a little bit warm and a little bit stuffy. Um, but that also was nice because when I was in a very packed crowd outside, when it wasn't too hot, I felt like it was definitely keeping out a lot of the dirt and a lot of the dust and the smoke that was in the air. I love this. Um, her brand is Fuck Me Up on a Spiritual Level. Please, please, please go check her out and show her some love. She is one of my favorite female DJs right now. Um... Um, next, super, super, super important, I am no longer sleeping on this, I understand, I am in love with, this is my fanny pack, yes, you can pick on me, you can applaud, you can tell me I'm a loser, because it took me so long to understand, but this fanny pack has been to every rave I've gone to, every festival I've gone to, I have never had something stolen out of here. Um, this is one that I bought, not through a rave company, this is from Oxpacker, you can see kind of on the bottom there, I'll link them again in the be description below, and this is actually a hiking brand, so this is a very heavy duty, um, definitely not ripping, definitely not tearing anytime soon, heavy duty uh, hiking brand, you can see by the clip and everything, it's definitely very, very good quality, very strong. And I have worn this typically just around my waist. I know you can wear it around your back or your chest as well. Um, Outfit-wise, I like it around my waist, I think, the most. But there are so many pockets, guys. Like, I have a pocket for each individual item I bring, I swear to God. I, so far for now, have just really loved having something tight on to the front of me where I can see that it's safe, I can see that no one's getting into it, and I can still have the freedom to move and dance and flow around. This one also has a pocket on the inside of the inner pocket, so even though this is dark, you can't really see it. 
you can kind of see that there's this other pocket in here that zips as well. That is always where my money is um, because to get through two zippers while in front of me and have me not notice, I really hope I'm not that oblivious. <laughs> um, but I've never had my money stolen, thankfully for that. Um, there's another little pocket here that unzips, another one here, and the smallest one right up front. Usually just my gum. Um, it's usually the easiest place for me to put it. I'm always handing out gum and candy and everything at raves, so... Um, our vibes. I love having it nice and easy to reach. And then my other favorite part is this back pocket. So against your body, the part that stays snug to you is this other pocket also zipped. And this is always where my phone goes. It's very, very easy to reach. It's very easy to access. Um, it's a very thin pocket, but having my phone right there against my body, it's just another level of protection that it's on this side because I just don't have to worry about it. I'm not worried about if my phone's going to go missing. Um, and that's just, that's really nice. So fanny packs, I suggest one. You don't always have to get one that's a statement. You can get something like this that's just heavy duty and will really um, stick with you for a while. I tie ribbons to this sometimes. I pin it um, to kind of like spice it up with outfits. But more often than not, I'm just really happy for the security that it brings me. So that is my fanny pack. But yeah. I think, I think that's just about it, guys. Um, I think I've gone through most of what I've got in my room or in my collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you kind of enjoyed getting a little bit of an inside scoop on kind of my collection and what I wear. I'll definitely keep doing more videos and kind of update you guys here and there when I get new pieces. But yeah, so far I'm just really excited to kind of have this to start with and really kind of keep growing from it and see what else I can find. I'm excited to add a couple new personality pieces coming in the near future. I'm working on a couple DIY pieces right now that I cannot wait to share with you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I got for this video. But thank you so much for watching. Definitely drop a subscribe and like and comment down below if there's some other kind of content you want to see from me. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for taking the time to check this out. Love you all. Thank you.